Are you thinking about moving to Needham, Massachusetts? Maybe you're being relocated to Greater Boston for a new job, or maybe you're trying to relocate from further west to closer to Boston. I talk to a lot of people who are interested in Needham and hearing about the great public schools and the hot real estate market. And it's important to know what you're going to get before you get here. So I've lived in Metro West of Boston my whole life, and I don't want you to be caught off guard. So I am here to share everything I can think of that you would need to know before I move here about the homes, the neighborhoods, downtown, and of course, the school. I'm Jane. I'm a realtor based in Wellesley, Massachusetts. This channel is all about living in Metro West. And if you're thinking about moving, please reach out and give me a call. Send me a line. I have enjoyed helping a number of buyers who found me on this channel find their dream home in Greater Boston. And maybe you'll be next. So let's jump in. So where is Needham? Needham is almost directly west of Boston. It is bordered by a number of towns. Wellesley, Dover, Newton, Dedham, and a teeny bit to Natick. It's about a half hour commute on the commuter rail to downtown Boston. And it could take you 20 minutes to get there to go in your car if you're going out for dinner or caught a slow to in traffic. Or it could also take you an hour to get there if you're going at peak travel times. The public schools are really great. The Needham Public Schools have an A-plus rating on niche.com. There are five public elementary schools. All are very highly respected. One of them is actually a gorgeous, very new building called Sunita Williams, which is one of the larger schools, really top notch. And there's several middle schools and there's one terrific high school. Boston Magazine, which is also has their own school rankings, which I also refer to a lot on my channel. And they have ranked Needham as number 22 in Greater Boston of all public high schools. When people ask me the basic difference between Wellesley and Needham, I sometimes say in Wellesley, you shop. In Needham, you die. There are a number of terrific restaurants in downtown Needham and also just over the border in Newton. A couple of my favorites are the Sweet Basil, which is an independently owned, really great Italian restaurant that's right in the town center. And they have nice curbside dining too, which started during the pandemic and is stuck around in good weather. And another place I really enjoy is the Farm House, which is a great farm to table. And they also have excellent outdoor space in the back of their downtown restaurant, which is really fun on a nice summer night. Just over the border in Newton, you're going to find all the chains that you might like Sweet Green and more shopping like strip mall shopping like Marshalls or REI and even a Modell's, which is a regional sporting goods store. So you can really find everything you need without ever leaving the town of Needham, but it's very convenient to shopping in malls like Legacy Place in Dedham, which is a beautiful outdoor mall, which is about 10, 15 minutes from downtown Needham. One of the other things that's great about our towns in greater Boston, Metro West, is that all of these towns have great outdoor green space for walking and hiking and trails. So so check out the Needham Public Trails page on the Needham.gov, the town government page, and you'll find all kinds of resources. Great places to walk your dog, good place to swim. And of course, let's get to my favorite subject, real estate. So I've been selling real estate in for 19 years. And when I started out, there was, Needham was a hot market then. Needham has stayed hot right through that recession and especially through pandemic times. And I think the reason is it was a little less expensive than Wellesley, especially we used to say under a million dollars. It was about the same, but if you got over a million dollars, you'd get way more house in Needham. But that has really changed. First of all, builders got a hold of a lot of these smaller homes, tore them down and have built a lot of newer colonials in all different neighborhoods. So that is one trend we've seen over time. And here's some interesting stats to share. If you look at the average median price in November of 2023, which is, we're actually in December right now, the median list price in Nita right now is 2.2 million. And just nine months ago in February, it was actually 1.4 million. So I like to say we are the geeks of real estate data. And there's a couple reasons for that. Oh, days on market has gone from 27 in February to 49 now. So some people might say, well, that means the market has slowed down. But au contraire, it has not. I mean, what we're seeing is 
Anything under 1.5 million is generally moving really quickly. And builders have also added more expensive homes. So we didn't used to see anything over two and a half million dollars in Needham. Now we're seeing things over $3 million. So the average price is skewed up and the lower priced homes sell more quickly. So what we're seeing is an increased days on market and more options if you are shopping for a home over 2.5 million. If you're thinking about moving to Needham or interested in any of the surrounding towns, please reach out as I would love to help you. And if you're curious about what it's like to work with me and what you need to know before you move to Massachusetts, here's a general idea of the process that I will start with you before you even get here for your first visit. Usually when I first start talking with buyers, I'll set up an introduction to recall to find out what your needs and wishes are and walk you through the process in Massachusetts because every state is a little bit different and I'll help you get connected to a lender if you don't already have one and I can give you a couple different options that can provide different products that will meet your goals and then of course I like to get to the fun stuff what kind of a house are you interested in and I'll share some interesting things about homes here like sometimes people are surprised to hear that not all our homes have garages or a central air conditioning and we have homes in our communities that are on small lots in downtowns or maybe you'll tell me you want more land and we're going to look further out or maybe I'm going to suggest a different town. Then the next step is for you to share homes with me that you like and I'll share homes with you that I think are a good fit and I can also walk you through the great fun of the competitive environment we've experienced especially since COVID where there's just not a lot of homes on the market so those homes that are on the market and well priced and especially if they're in great condition, tend to get multiple offers. So I'll share with you my strategies on how I help you be the successful bid in a multi-bid situation. So if you have any questions or comments, please reach out. I would love to hear from you. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.